voted against impeachment. Every Indiana House Democrat voted for it. Wish TV's Dan Klein joining us now from the newsroom. And Dan, you spoke to analysts on both sides of the political aisle for reaction. Well, politically, Phil, they're on opposite sides. Their thoughts about today are very similar, as well as what happens in the Senate. It's not a good day in America. It's another sad day for the United States of America. For the first time, a president impeached for a second time. Ten Republicans joining House Democrats. Conservative commentator Abdul Hakim Shabazz. You got to give them respect for voting their for voting their conscience. But none from Indiana, home to Congressman Andre Carson, who authorities say may have been a target for one of the rioters who was arrested. Points out former Democratic Party state chair Kip Two. It's very disappointing that um, you know Republicans in the state of Indiana still seem to be under the spell. Uh, of Donald Trump. Now the focus turns to the Senate, where it's unclear how a vote to convict will play out politically for Republicans. Do you think it'd be better for the Republicans to convict him or to not convict him? I don't know yet. I, I really don't. I think if it was a secret ballot, there'd be like 90 votes. But it's not a secret ballot, it's an open vote. And so that changes things. Both agree that means Mitch McConnell is the person to watch who could have both professional and personal reasons to vote to convict. Mitch McConnell doesn't have any principles. The only His only principle is how to get power. And he lost power uh, because of Donald Trump. And now he's trying to figure out the best way to his best path back to power. I think the cover for Republicans that don't want to vote for impeachment say, look, he's gone tomorrow at 12.01. So what good would it really do? And for those who do vote to convict, there could be fear that Donald Trump will stir his base and help recruit a primary challenge in their next election. But with at least a week to go, two believes there's a lot of time to get Republicans to flip. The more we gather evidence, the worse this thing is. So uh, we shall see. As for how all-consuming a Senate trial might become and the possibility you could bog down the presidency of Joe Biden, both men use the same analogy. They ought to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. I, I think lawmakers can walk and chew gum at the same time. And also think the fact that the Democrats are taking over the Senate will help them. Kip Two says if Mitch McConnell votes to convict, it's likely at least 16 other Republicans will join him. If not, a conviction is unlikely. He says Indiana Republican Senator Todd Young has a bit of a dilemma because he will be on the ballot in two years while Senator Mike Braun isn't on the ballot until 2024. Reporting in the newsroom, Dan Klein, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.